Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom video. Today we have a real cool guy for you. It's all going to be about that second shrine that you need to complete in order to get to the opening of the game. The Inasha Shrine Walkthrough Guide. Today, I got you covered in the Great Sky Island Guide. Let's go! Once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. We got a shrine to complete. Now, the second shrine that you get in the Great Sky Island is called the Inisha Shrine. Over here, you get a new ability in a quest called the Closed Door. Now, check out a video right there. Full step-by-step -step guide in order to get here because it is quite a journey, but no worries. I got you covered. But once you make your way over here to this shrine, you're going to get yourself a new ability from Raru. You're going to stick out your hand and now you have the ability to fuse. We're going to be using this fuse ability in order to get through this shrine. So let's do this with the ability to combine in the initial shrine. First things first, when you head down, you'll see a sword and you'll see some rocks. You want to use your fuse ability and fuse your rock to your sword. You can do this by equipping your sword, then using your fuse ability, hitting Y, and fusing the rock to the sword. After that, to the right, there will be a nice little room with a bow and some fire fruit. You can equip the bow, use your arrow, light it up with the flame nearby, and shoot the arrow at the vines, and then the chest will drop down. Inside of the chest will be the small key. We need this small key in order to get to the next part. Turn to the right and into the door that is green, we're going to use that key that we just picked up. This is how we're going to advance into the next part. Here we have a small little mini boss. It is really cool and fun, so have fun with that taking out this guy. You should have no problem taking him out. After you finish taking out the mini boss, use that same sword with the huge boulder to knock down the wall. And in the next room will be our reward. That's right, you just have completed the second shrine. Pick up your reward, the light of blessing, and we're on to the next part of the quest, which I'll have a full guide for you as well. But for right now, that's pretty much going for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you are new to the channel, how you doing and welcome. And don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpal Gaming. A little wide variety of videos range from updates, tips and tricks, guides and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. As always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.